afternoon. How are you guys doing today? We're, we're doing good. How are you? Hey, I'm good. doing good. Thanks for asking. Even though I'm right now at a different location where I'm usually at, uh, but uh, I have a mobile station like that. I can do the interviews any a, any place I I want to. <laughs> that's nice. That's, that's, you gotta you gotta the stay in it. Yeah. Where, so, are you, where are you usually based? So usually, um, I am at my home office. That's uh-huh. uh, I have a I don't have a blur background. My background is just a dark wall. <laughs> But today, uh, because I had to take my son to meet him, to be with his grandmother for a while. So I'm like, so I'm going to use your classroom as my office oh, today. <laughs> so I just packed everything in a bag and here awesome. I am. <laughs> well, well, thank you for interviewing us. We appreciate it. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I got to say, um, loved the short film. I really oh, did love it. It's a very, very... I know that it's it might sound a little bit uh, cliche, but it's a very different take on how usually people deal with loss. And it's very different how these two characters um, deal with it. And it's interesting as well. I think that one of my favorite parts is when they use the Ouija board. <laughs> mm-hmm. When they use the Ouija board, uh, it, it's a great, great moment uh, on the short film. So, Clark, I wanted to ask you initially, what inspired you to bring uh, this story to the people? Um, I uh, I used to run a film festival, a small film festival in Marfa, Texas. Uh, it's actually where we filmed it. I, so that's how I became familiar with the small town of Marfa was running the Marfa Film Festival. And now my husband and I run a business there. Um, but uh, one of the things that I noticed about short films, um, especially dramas, is that there was kind of almost always a theme every year. It was like, it was like, oh my God, we got 30 films about suicide or 40 films about losing your mother. It was, I was like, it was, it's in the zeitgeist. People write about, it's weird how people write about the same things at specific, during specific years. Like it would just, it would come out. We would see it in, in what was applied. And, and, um, and many times they are dark and I love dark movies. I love, I love twisted stories. I, I, I do, but in, in a film festival, I really feel like there's a, needs to be a little room for humor. Um, and that always, that always goes a long way. Um, and, and I think when you're telling, I think an authentic story about loss, I think there is, you know, I think there is. You've got to celebrate life as well as uh, when 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 people die, and and so I wanted to write something that didn't just tell the story of what it's like to lose somebody, but also to tell about like what it's what it's like to process it, how we do it differently, and and ultimately like the tagline of the film is it's about us now, and it's not about forgetting the people who are gone. It's just about remembering that there are people that are still around, and those are the people that you know once you've celebrated somebody who was important to you um and and honored their passing you know focus on the living and that was the, that was kind of my my goal i i know that i can say here uh to you that you that your goal was met because when when you go to the end of the film you don't only see uh a family you know a brother and a sister just thinking like hey you know what yeah this is the 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 step that we have to take but they go back and and they celebrate things that they used to do when they were little and and they celebrated their mother as well so yeah yeah i can say to you that yes the goal was was met um now going to alex how do you get involved in the project and as well how does how, how do you get to be your character oh me uh yes. adam adam okay. yeah yeah um i uh well i mean it it was a natural it was a natural thing to do this project together as we are married and um we had we had kind of worked on this project in la before taking it to marfa and and had thought about doing it in a different way and um uh, i don't know rolling it out it just made sense that i i would you know uh help produce it and uh i i loved the story and i liked the character and it was definitely playing a uh a, a very small version of myself and and people i know um 
I, yeah, I don't know. I, truth be told, he's really more of an Elizabeth. <laughs> um, so he is acting like he's, he's yeah like, yeah i'm a little bit more the pragmatic one the, a little bit can be perceived as a little colder in these instances when you're processing things like that i guess um but so so it's definitely a, a a really welcome thing to explore for me um uh and i was very close with with the other actor and um so we we die and i had a good time and and really were able to kind of create that that bond um yeah it was it, it felt it felt pretty 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 natural to step into those shoes okay. they acted oh. like brother and sister yeah we <laughs> had a brother and sister even off camera on camera and off camera it was, <laughs> it, was it was it was it was very natural they're 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 their behavior with each other it was yeah. it, it was a hot set we filmed it in our own home too so it was just a very intimate environment that kind of made it more uh it felt more pressing and present okay and okay so now um so you guys are together correct yeah, yeah. okay yeah i wanted to put that out there because um i i that was not on the information so that's why i wanted oh, to okay. ask Sorry. yeah now <laughs> so, we've been married Five years together, <laughs> or no longer married. Yeah, we're a creative team. Yeah. We, we 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 kind of segued out of our creative careers here in LA for a little while to to work uh, in Marfa and and develop a property there. We we renovated it ourselves, and uh, yeah. we have like short terms and long term rentals there. Um, oh, so amazing. so so we realized we could also use that as part of our creative endeavors when we're trying to produce our own work. We have a place, we have a location that gives us something to to play off of. So when it works, we like to try to use is use Marfa. Yeah, we housed it's a little boutique kind of hotel. And so we were able to house the whole cast and crew there and we shot it there. Yeah, we had was, yeah, like, we had folks great. come in from LA and come in from El Paso and 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 some local some local talent as well. So it was really cool to create a that kind of experience. How does it feel working with each other? Because this is the second time I do have um, in in an interview a couple that works together to for with each other to create their projects. So how does it feel, you know, um, to work with each other in regards to, you know, you just mentioned in regard um, about renovations, uh, renovating a place and now working on on a short film? How, how is it? How how do you guys work together? It does feel like a very dangerous premise, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> everybody, everybody hears it. Feels like they never make it through it with their partner. So it's a real compliment, I think, to to I think our relationship. But we, I, I think we are very we're very like minded. We do tend to agree on most things. So there's rarely really an argument. Usually it's a usually I like this a lot and I like your idea. And if it is an alternative, it's like, but we could also do it this way. And I'm like, Ooh, yeah, we could also, you know, like there's, there's, there's relatively a like, Oh God, you're going to go that direction. You know, that it's, it's, we it, had, we had years of practice yeah. learning, learning how to work with each other, you know? And, and um, yeah. And I, yeah, we've been, it, it's been a pretty good mix of things. A lot of times one of us doesn't, really feel passionate about the thing the other one does in a project and vice versa. So it kind of helps that like we naturally will take on our own parts of the project. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's been, that that's helped us get through a lot. And he was a producer on it with me. So he helped us, he helped me develop it. And, um, and you know, and he, whatever I couldn't do, he was doing and whatever I couldn't or he couldn't do, I was doing and and it was a you know this was really this was really we shot this on we shot this on iphone 15 um and it was supposed to just be a sound guy two iphones and a couple of friends shooting a movie on a weekend we were we were just we set yeah. out we set out to just kind of shoot a thing and just have some fun with a couple of friends and it, it turned and into something bigger um it did in a good way like yeah. in a positive way but mm -hmm. it Our, was an experience director of photography was like very adamant that like you know that we do it do this as legitimate as we can, especially using this new technology that was, you know, a little bit of a challenge to figure out in some senses. But, um, but yeah, it's been it, it was it just kind of it ballooned out very quickly and and became became a bigger project. I don't think we wow. thought we'd be going into a 
festival season necessarily. <laughs> so it's so, kind of a it's a nice it's a nice uh, surprise. Yeah, we're surprised and we're flattered to be in the festival at all. Yeah, because um, it really was just it was I have never again I'd been writing for twenty years and um, but I'd never directed anything. So this was my my foray into that, and it was a scary idea to me, frankly, because um, I, I just. It's I've seen I've been around a lot of directors. I know it's a hard and a tough job. And um, and I wanted to be in a situation where I felt comfortable um, and doing that in Marfa with my husband, with friends on a small set was kind of the way to do it. And um, I still feel like I have a lot to learn. Um, and I learned a lot from this process. Um, but it was a, it was a high. We had a great time doing it. And you mentioned one key thing that I'm still mesmerized on how, what you mentioned. You mentioned that you recorded all this with an i with iPhone 15s. Yeah, yeah. I if if you, if you don't like, tell me that, if you don't tell me that, I'll be like, yeah, you guys rented out some great cameras and <laughs> recorded the whole thing. But how challenging was to record with a with with the mobile phone? Because I know that nowadays mobile phones are becoming video cameras they are becoming webcams. So they're becoming very popular nowadays. But how what were there any challenges being the fact that it's such a small uh a small factor? Um, I mean the small factor was great because we were dealing with like trying to avoid our, our our reflection and shadows and things like that. So it's a tiny, tiny, tiny rig. So you can really cram your cinematographer can really cram himself into a there's all, small and, and there's already all this equipment that kind of build off of it like he's saying with the rig we weren't right? just using the cellular side phone we had a rig yeah. a camera oh, and, 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 and there's and there's there's uh, filters and stuff really the the main yeah. difference is why we didn't uh, we, we wanted to experiment we wanted to try out something new but the uh, uh, but the main the, the main the main feature of it is that uh the the reason why we didn't need to get a camera package is because finally the iPhone, the newest version, the one we were able to shoot on 15 allows, yeah, allows you to shoot in, in raw and it yeah. allows you to shoot like a high enough resolution for all of this. And you can also directly dump all those files onto hard drives instead of storing them on the phone itself. So it just creates a lot of flexibility for making yeah. really high res really. You just plug in a, a little hard content. drive. And it goes straight to that hard drive. Yeah, yeah. It bypasses all your photos. It becomes a movie camera, and 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 it's really remarkable. And I felt I, you know, my my cinematographer was actually kind of against the idea, but I was like, we're at a, I feel like at a turning point with technology, and I and I was also like, for what we'd spend on a camera rig, I can buy all the stuff that I can have a rig for my phone, right? And it ended up being helpful because there ended up being a couple things we need to shoot after we were done filming, just B roll, but. I had the filter, I had the camera, and I was able to go out and just take a couple shots of things to fill in where we were missing, you know, stuff and and send it to our, our editor as needed. And so we were able to keep the rig instead of having to return the rig and being just, you know, kind of shit out of luck if we needed anything else. But it all matched up. Yeah. Wow, that that's phenomenal. Like how 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 far along technology has has reached. And yeah. wanted to ask because um you you mentioned that you filmed everything in 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 your house. Mm -hmm. Were there any uh, difficulties, you know, uh, to record? Um, in our house, just yeah. And, I mean, just it was just like keeping it this set looking um, accurate um, because we would sleep in the bed and then have to make the bed and make it look like it was mom's room again the next day, you know, and just and also just challenges of like. We, as you saw, you'll know the wig scene that those wigs lived with us for a week or two as in our bedroom. So we're like, wake up every morning and look at the wigs and just be like, oh, God, can we get rid of those things? Um, but we kept them up in case we needed to use them for anything. Um, yeah. So it's just living living on a set isn't the most optional or ideal situation. Could, I, I guess some like method actor could argue that it's like helpful for getting into the <laughs> Whatever, but it's not, it's, it's, yeah, it can be a challenge living on a, being on a hot set like that. It would have been nice to have just been able to lock it up at the end of the day and come back yeah, and, and have and nobody leave it, it as a set. Yeah. Because we were cooking breakfast and the, you know, and then we had to clean it up and make sure that, that the table looked the same. Yeah. So it's about consistency. Just keep it okay. consistent. This will be my last question for, for both of you today. Um, if you could describe uh, this short film with one word, what would it be? 
fun word. Um, wow. Uh, heartfelt. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was my intentions. <laughs> As a descriptor, like a descriptor word? Yeah, one word. Just one word that comes into mind and be like, yeah, this is the word that describes the film. That's what yours is. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, just the beginning. What's just the beginning? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm so sorry. I'm just lost. I'm, I'm lost for a word. I'm sorry. No I worries. No worries. Let's just much. go with heartfelt. Right. I like oh, heartfelt. Okay. Yeah. I just no want to look that we're, we're this is this film is really us trying to prepare for our feature, which we already have in kind of pre production. We've got a script. We've got cast. We're working on. We're hoping that these festivals will allow us um, to start raising money for doing the first feature. So we're, we're, we we definitely, I mean, that's why I meant it's just by just the beginning. Okay. Uh, I'm super excited. Thank you very much for, for the time uh, to talk about the film. And I hope that the next time that we sit down here uh, to talk is about the, that full length film. So I'm super excited about it. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, that'd be awesome. It's called yeah. shrimp. We're hopeful. Shrimp. Okay. Awesome. Thank you.